Good day teacher, today I will show you how to use the automated SF9 and SF10 with consolidated grades. So once you open the Microsoft Excel, this will be the first thing that will appear in your screen. So the dashboard or the first sheet of our Microsoft Excel. So I call this one dashboard because uh, all the sections or parts are uh, interconnected with the other sheets. So in this section, it requires a region. All you have to do is to input manually. Just write the region, then the division. No, I mean just type the region, the division, the address of the school, the name of the school, the section of your the section, then the name of the advisor, the name of the principal, the grade level, the school year, then the school ID. In this one, this part is our mock-up card. So, for example, if a parent will ask, will come to you and ask for your student's grade, you are just going to search for the student's name here. Then automatically, it will change or it will uh, reflect the grades of the student. Not just the grade, but also the LRN of the student, the age of the student. And if he or she is the member of a four-piece, then the rank, the student's rank in the class and the general average and also the academic rewards so that will change once you change the name of the student in our mock-up cards then in this part this is what is the input data for the sf9 and input data for the sf10 okay going back to this section once you change this one for example the name of the advice is juan de la cruz okay so if we're going to check that one just click this sf9 front then there automatically the name of the teacher will change as juan de la cruz going back if we're going to delete this one example no data then let's check it out in your sf9 and then there you are the sf9 some of the information is blank so going back then check it out then here it goes so that is the work of our dashboard then we also have the we're going back to this part the input data so in this part all the section that is highlighted with color blue these are the cells or the sections that you are going to input the information needed for your card or sf9 so you're going to input the names of the students manually the quarterly grades of the students per subject their lrn their gender then this one this part here is the number of absences of the student then the upper side so uh, upper right side the upper side of this number of absences we have the number of school days then we also have the birth date of the student okay again going back to our dashboard so this one if once you click this the, you will be directed in our automate uh, our consolidated grades and the sf10 front this one is our form one through seven then so i made a separate data input for the sf9 and sf10 because in our sf9 the name of a student is compacted meaning it consumes only one cell however in our sf10 the name of the student should be divided accordingly with the, the last name first name the name extension and the middle name so that is why i made another data input for the sf10 so for the sf10 input data we you this section is highlighted with color blue you are going to input manually the name of the, the last name of the student or the surname the first name the name extension if they have name extension the middle name then i also added this one for the purpose beneficiary just write yes or no okay so that is all for our dashboard now let's go back to the input data okay example for student number one his name is juan de la cruz then his grades are all 75 
just for example 75 okay so we have trains the student number one's name so let's go to our dashboard okay if this appear, appears in your dashboard do not worry just click the drop down list then just re-click that one then voila it reflects that what de la cruz has the mark of 75 in all subject then oh it also reflects his lrn not just in the dashboard if you're going to check the sf9 front then let's go for there you are juan de la cruz okay as you can see the re report on attendance is also it also changed okay let's check it again juan de la cruz okay so the number of absences that we have inputted in the the sf9 data input that will automatically be redirected in this section so no need to input manually in this section by the way you cannot also change a formatting because i already locked the sheet so you can only change data in the input sf9 input data and sf10 input data now let's go back to the dashboard then let's check out the inside of the card or the sf nine now for the sf9 or the inside of the sf9 just click here the drop down list then find the name of the student okay juan de la cruz then see okay it's 75 it reflects or the, the his grade from all subject is reflected in the card or the inside of the sf9 so that is how you are going to change the name and to input the data for the SF9 data input. Now let's move. I let, uh, no, let's go back to our dashboard, then go back to our input data. Yes. Okay. Now the data that you have in, uh, inputted in this section, the grades. This will also automatically be transposed in our consolidated grades. This one. So I cannot touch this one because I have locked the cells. So the data that you you will be inputting in, in this section will be re -redire redirected in this sheet. So very easy. All you have to do is to carefully input grades, the names of the students, and other information that is needed for uh, in, for your students. Now, let's go to the SF10 data input. So here, same process with our SF9 data input. You are just going to input the data manually, the surname or the last name of the student, the first name, the name it, name extension if they have the middle name then if he or she is a four piece beneficiary so once you change that one for example you change student number one into my name there you go then let's go to the sf10 Okay, that is student number one. So let's check it out. There you are. Automatically, it will change. Then it will also input the grades of student number one in the SF10. So that is how you're going to input the data so if you have questions you may contact me i will be including my contact number or my email address in this part thank you for watching